good morning from Mountain Patriot Farms. I'd initially thought that I would go out and take a walk in the woods this morning and take y'all along with me, but because the wind is blowing just crazy today again, I thought I would just come out here and have a seat in the barn where I'm a little bit protected from the wind and maybe you'll be able to hear me and just surrounded by some of my best friends. Hello, girls. And boy. And in the first shot, I think they've stepped around the corner. There are a couple of new girls that joined the family yesterday. Uh, it's a couple of little boar does that we got at the auction while we were there. Uh, pretty little girls. Uh, they're getting used to us. It'll take a few days, as you might not have seen, because I don't think that I had the camera on yet. Um, they had nearly come up to me, which is a good thing. At least they're not running the other direction. So they're curious, and they'll start getting closer as the days go by and start being accepted that they're okay. We're not... We're not going to hurt them. Uh, right now, they're in a little bit of quarantine just because we did just get them from the sale. We want to make sure that they don't have any little health issues that we might need to correct. Don't want to give anything to our other girls. And so we're just uh, hanging out out here together. Good morning, girls. Hello, pretty girls. I have named them Starlight and Star Bright. As you can see, they both have little matching white stars on their forehead, so thought that was appropriate names for them. My husband always laughs because I name everything. Uh, sometimes it's not elaborate names. Sometimes it may be dog or cat, but, you know, whatever, whatever fits. But this morning, I just thought I would get together and just catch up with y'all. I haven't talked to you in a while and let you know. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Yeah. See, it's okay. Yeah. Sorry. Yes, I do talk to all of my animals like they're my children. Um, anyway, I just wanted to catch up with y'all and kind of say good morning, let you know what was going on around our place. Uh, yesterday, we did spend all day at the auction we had some things that we took over it's a local auction where you can sell everything from bed springs to buffalo i guess if you had them so it's a it's a very diverse auction so it's it's fun and we didn't intend to spend all day but that's what ended up happening and so today we're just trying, we've got some rain coming in, and today we're just trying to get some things done outside to kind of make sure that everything is ready to go for this much needed rainfall when it arrives. And then, of course, we'll have cold weather coming later, and we want to make sure that we're all ready for that. I'm, not, I'm never sure if we're all complete. Sorry, my phone's jiggling all over the place with the wind blowing. I'm never sure that we're all completely ready for things that happen, but we do try to be prepared um, because the fewer surprises that you can have on a homestead or just if you live in an apartment, uh, surprises, unless it's a birthday party, is usually... You know, you don't want to have unexpected, unpleasant surprises. And so we try to prepare ahead for anything like that. And we hope that all of you are doing the same thing. Uh, if you have a way of growing your own food, or even if you get it from a local farmer and put by your own food, that's a good thing. Uh, knowing where your food come from 
even if it is not your own, that you did not grow yourself, if you know the farmer who did and get to get to know them and their farming practices, that's uh, so much better way of eating than things that you get in the store that you can't pronounce the names of and these ingredients that are made out of products that I really would not choose to put in my body. Now, am I saying that I never buy processed foods out of the store? No. That would be a complete lie because, uh, yes, I do buy things from the store or not as much now as in the past, uh, but I try to try to make my own as much as possible. Uh, laundry soap, you know, I make my own laundry soap now. Um, I did that quite a bit when the kids were little, but then there was a long stretch in there where I relied completely on store-bought. So I'm not judging anybody if you are choosing to buy everything from the store by gosh, you you go, you do you, boo. You do whatever you have to do to survive and get what you need. Um, you might want to kind of get a little extra here and there as you can, just to hedge against upcoming price increases. We all know that prices have went up on a lot of things. Uh, even feed for these guys uh, have went up. Thankfully. They do a lot of their own, the, these chickens especially, do a lot of their own hunting. <laughs> they love bugs and digging and scratching and, you know, whatever they can find, they're happy. But, of course, we also feed them as well. Uh, we want to keep, keep our, our friends happy. Now, I know some of you are just can't believe that people can grow. Most of what you're looking at here, we have hatched ourselves, these chickens, and of course the ducks aren't in here right now, but um, most of these things that you see running around here, we have grown and raised right here on our place. And um, I know some of you balk at the idea of, oh my goodness, how can you, and this is this is my girl here. This is Henny Penny. Um, I know you just can't believe that we can raise things and then feed ourselves with them. But, you know, this is a farm, and that's the purpose of a farm. Uh, now, some people do have sanctuary farms, and I think those are wonderful places. Uh, however, we do consume some of the things that we grow here. Um, not all of these girls are going to end up in a stew pot. Uh, many of them are our egg producers. They're our breakfast girls, and they keep us supplied in eggs. I'm not really sure what Henny Penny here does. Um, not sure that she supplies much of anything except companionship because no matter what I'm doing, she's there, right, right there. I went to the front door the other day and she's standing there looking in. So um, she thinks that, I think she thinks she's a person. I'm not really sure what she thinks, but she's so hilarious. You see her just now ran that one off. It's like, get away from my human. Um, so yeah, she's, she's hilarious. But all of these guys and gals here, they, you know, we treat them as best we can. We try to keep them healthy and happy and just make sure that while they live here on our farm that they have the best life they can have. Um, and that's all any of us can hope for is that our lives are the best that we can make them. Uh, these little girls will be some of our producers. We hope to get some kids out of them. Hello, what are you doing? 
you can see Starbright, this friend that's closest to me. She's a little bit more curious, a little bit more laid back. Um, the one back here in the back, um, she's she's not so sure about it. It's like, I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Now, of course, we've got our Nigerian dwarfs that are our milk goats that we have. And, you know, they're just hilarious. They're so funny. And, but we have them for milk. These are meat goats. And so we will have them producing producing uh, commercial meat, and that's their purpose here on the farm. Everybody here on the farm has a job, even Miss Henny Penny. And if you see her little girlfriend next to her, she's also, um, she stays pretty tight to me whenever I'm outside, the little white one. Um, she's, <laughs> poor little thing, I hope she grows in some more feathers for winter gets here. I'm going to have to knit her a sweater or something because uh, at one time we had far too many roosters before um, they met Jack Frost and the deep freeze um, but we had far too many roosters and so poor little girl uh, she wasn't able to run as far as Henny Penny or Henny Penny just may be mean enough she keeps the keeps the men folk away I don't know but we got rid of all the excess males. We've got two roosters now with all these hens, and so that's not as much of a problem. You know, they they seem to be doing doing okay. This big white rooster that you see right here, he uh, he is a young rooster. He's only about a year old, and he is still. <laughs> The, the goats are not used to these chickens yet, so even the little chickens kind of send the goats running. But anyway, that's, uh, everybody's getting used to everybody. But uh, this big rooster, as I was saying, he, uh, he still runs from our small rooster because he's not sure of his actual pecking order yet. So it's kind of funny. Uh, oh my, yes. Yeah, what happened with all that? Um, but the, it's hilarious. Chickens are my favorite entertainment, bar none. Uh, there's nothing on TV that's as much fun watching as watching these chickens. So maybe I'm just crazy, but, you know, hey, that's all right. At least if somebody's going to drive me crazy, it's a short trip. Isn't that right, Henny Penny? Yeah, good girl. Uh, before I forget, I was going to let you know how the No Spend October's going. Everything has went fine. I've not spent on anything except fuel until yesterday. And while we were at the auction all day, um, of course, my spouse decided he was hungry, which I'm not going to lie, I was hungry too. Um, Is that good hay? And so we ran to the little nearby store and grabbed a bite to eat, to go. I think, you know, some chicken strips and we shared some chicken strips and some potato wedges. And that was lunch and supper. So anyway, that uh, we did spend that. I uh, wish I could say that, no, we didn't spend anything. But that would be a total lie because, yes, we we did. However, other than that, uh, we have done done well. Uh, of course, we bought these two goats, but again, I on my version of no spend. Some people may think no spend something means absolutely nothing. Well, I'm not walking to work. I'm not sitting in the dark because my lights have got turned off. And here on the farm, you just got to purchase things. You've got to purchase feed. And we're trying to grow our goat operation. So when these two girls came up, we went on ahead and invested in them. Uh, they're less than a year old, so we've got <laughs> we have got a long future ahead with them. And we thought that that they would make a good investment and a good addition for here on the farm. So anyway. <laughs> 
uh, getting acquainted. Um, anyway, me and Henny Penny are just going to hang out a little bit more, try to not blow away. But we want to wish you a happy Sunday. I hope all is going well. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe bell. Like this. Uh, there's the little thumbs up if you like it. Uh, if you don't like it, push thumbs down. It's, uh, it's whatever you believe. And uh, give us a comment below if you like these videos of just hanging out with the critters and just visiting. Anyway, love y'all. Hope you have a great week. Mountain Patriot Homestead, signing out. Hello again from Mountain Patriot Homestead or Mountain Patriot Farms, since at the very first of the recording, I misspoke and gave you the wrong name. We have not moved, we've not changed our name, but apparently I don't know who I am most of the time. So anyway, just accept it as a blooper. Sorry guys, love ya, bye.